5G or 5th generation is the latest wireless mobile phone technology, first widely deployed in 2019. 5G is expected to increase performance and a wide range of new applications, including strengthening e-health, such as telemedicine, remote surveillance, and telesurgery. We are surrounded by electromagnetic radiation all the time, from television and radio signals, as well as from a whole range of technologies, including mobile phones and from natural sources such as sunlight. 5G uses higher frequency waves than earlier mobile networks, allowing more devices to have access to the internet at the same time at faster speeds. These waves travel shorter distances through urban places. So 5G networks require more transmitter mass than previous technologies positioned closer to ground level. The higher frequencies are new to mobile phone networks, but are commonly used in other applications, such as point-to-point -point radio links and body scanners for security, security checks. The electromagnetic radiation used by all mobile phone technologies has led some people to worry about increased health risks, including developing certain types of cancer. At these higher frequencies, 5G networks will use a greater number of base stations and of connected objects. 5G will further employ beam-forming antennas to focus signals more efficiently towards the device and use, rather than having the signal spread in broad direction as in current base station antennas. In 2014, the World Health Organization said that no adverse health effects have been established as being caused by mobile phone use. However, the WHO, together with the International Agency for Research on Cancer, has classified all the radio radiation, of which mobile signals are a part, as passively carcinogenic. It has been put in this category because there is evidence that falls short of being inclusive that exposure may cause cancer in humans. A toxicology report released in 2018 by the U.S. Department of Health and pointed to by those expressing safety concerns found that male rats exposed to high doses of radiofrequency radiation developed a type of cancerous tumor in the heart. But according to scientists, Exposures used in the studies cannot be compared directly to the exposure that humans experience when using a cell phone, even for heavy users. There is no refutable evidence, he says, that mobile phones or wireless networks have caused as you as health problems. Tissue heating is the main mechanism of interactions between radio frequency fields and the human body. Radio frequency exposure levels from current technologies result in negligible temperature rise in the human body. As the frequency increases, there is less penetration into the, into the body tissue and absorption of the energy becomes more confined to the surface of the body, such as skin and eye. Provided that the overall exposure remains below international guidelines, no consequences for public health are anticipated. And according to WHO, to date and after much research performed, no adverse health effect has been casually linked with exposure to wireless technologies. Health-related conclusions are drawn from studies performed across the entire radio spectrum. But so far, only a few studies have been carried out at the frequencies to be used by 5G. So, should we be worried about 5G transmitter mast? 5G technologies requires a lot of new base stations. These are the masts that transmit and receive mobile phone signals. 
But crucially, because there are more transmitters, each one can run at lower power levels than previous 4G technology, which means that the level of radiation exposure from 5G antennas will be lower. Microwaves generate heat in objects through which they pass. However, at the levels used for 5G and earlier mobile technologies, the heating effects are not harmful, says Professor Rodney Croft, an advisor to the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection. The maximum radio frequency level that someone in the community could be exposed to from 5G or any other signals in general community areas is so small that no temperature rise has been observed to date. The WHO says electromagnetic frequency exposures below the limits recommended in the ICNIRP guidelines do not appear to have any known consequence on health. WHO advocates for further research into the possible long-term health impacts of all aspects of mobile telecommunications. The organization identifies and promotes related research priorities. It also develops public information materials and promotes dialogue among scientists, governments, and the public to increase understanding around health and mobile communications.